Come in, Inspector. Welcome to Gloucester Cloister Leicester. Thank you. Now, there's been a death theft. Mm. Tell me, was it robbery in the shrubbery or pillage in the village? <laughs> I am Inspector Hector Vector. And you, sir? The Rector. Victor Proctor. Rector. <laughs> Victor. Proctor. Doctor. Sorry? Doctor. Right. Rector. Doctor. Victor. Proctor. <laughs> And this is our matron and patron, Sister Lister. <laughs> Sister Lister. Sister Esther Lister. And this is Master Lester Foster. <coughs> Master Lester Foster. A pista. Ah, pista. <laughs> now. <coughs> The only three people remaining over the weekend here in Gloucester Cloister were Master Lester Foster, Sister Lester Lister, and Dr. Victor Proctor, Rector and Director. Is that correct? Is that exact? Is that a factor? Is that a fact? You could say that. No, I couldn't. Not again. <laughs> now, we'll turn to the case of the missing pearl brooch. The Oyster Cluster. Oyster Cluster? Her last bequest before she went to rest. Who? The detested lady Hester Wisteria Aster Brewster. Of Worcester. Ah, oh, oh yes, that's right. Lady Hester Wisteria Aster Brewster of Worcester, who got a blister from an aspidestra. Only one of our history mistresses. Ha! Ah. Lady Brewster was detested, you suggested, although she bequeathed the illustrious oyster cloister of an estimable luster. <laughs> Sister Lister didn't trust her. And you thought you'd trust her? The oyster cluster was cast in alabaster. I suggested it was tested. She was flustered, so she blustered and protested. And then confessed it. Lady Hester was so distressed by Sister Lister's gesture, she attacked her, so we sacked her. <laughs> Come on, carve an eye down for a minute. about Lady Brewster, how you seduced her in the cloister. Ah, we used to play the rooster and seducer. <laughs> she refused you, so she goosed her in the cloister. Then weary of his crude assaults in the dewy meadow grass, she threw him over and married a newly created peer. I've got it. You embarrassed and harassed her, you had accosted and exhausted and a moisture in the pasture. Then you crossed her and you lost her at Lord Brewster's Westminster Investiture. <laughs> Once I was introduced to Lady Brewster, I used to goose her like Bertie Wooster. It amused her and used to boost, boost her ego. I can't stand it. I planned it. I admit it. I did it. I hid it. I saw the brooch for the insurance money and hid it. Here. Inside a tasty feast of roasted lobster in a toasted crust of pastry pasty. It's poison, you pitiful person. Don't you see? I was the detester of Lady Hester. I poisoned the pin of her cluster. I gave her arsenic. He gave her what, a nick? <laughs> <laughs> We're all going to die. Disaster, Headmaster! Hester! Lester! Victor! Esther! Lester! Inspector! <sighs> oh, but I get this down while it's still fresh in my memory. <laughs> First, a list of the cast in this easy disaster. Master Lester Foster, fostered and sequestered by Spinster Mater and Sister Esther Lister. Erstwhile mistress of the past head master and rector, Dr. Victor Proctor. A bit of a twister and seducer of the juicy Lady Brewster, from whose alabaster but well bolstered and upholstered breast, she bequested illustrious oyster cloister. Niftily lifted from the canister by the banister by the sublimely villainous criminal, Master Lester Foster. Who <laughs> encrusted the pest infested pin in a tasty, toasty, pasty, pasty, pasty. In an act which smacked of an act to extract a substantial potential from a potential for a last. He administered a massive mass assassination by a noxious toxin for which there is no digestive or restorative nostril. <laughs> I list, I insist. Nothing's missed. I've got the gist. I'm off to the pub to get plastered. <laughs>